Wintering. That was my last year in Florida, illegal and thinking of marriage as one way to stay. Sleepless nights of argument and indecision. And to keep us going, I worked a cash job at an orchid farm. Long hours in the sun, poor in paradise, the heat on my back, drilling for a living. I worked with a Mexican, my man Victor, the orchid keeper called him, friendly and amused at the affluent couples who came to purchase the rich, ornate dreams. We buried a dead owl together, I remember that, and my body aching in the sun, floating home to arguments. What we were doing, I was told, was wintering, getting ready for the cold, its indiscretion, its disregard, nailing sheets of plastic onto a wooden frame, hammering, drilling to protect the fragile flowers and their steel interiors, their engineered hearts and worth. That is already a long time ago, its contradictions apparent, wintering in sunshine, the past still growing towards the light. I think of them now as some sort of emblem of that past, ghostly orchids shedding their petals as we winter here ourselves, batten down the hatches and wait for whatever storm is coming, whatever calamity the cold has to offer us in the same way the orchids do, I suppose, waiting through winter to emerge with budding, fantastical and colourful insistence to wake and remind us, be nothing less than amazed.